Okay, here we are in Reaper. Um, this is a new DAW to me, but it allows us some features that allow us to do this tutorial. So we're going to pull up an acoustic guitar track that I recorded, and I used a click, which is important um, because it gets us some of the additional features that we have in the Tapa World plugin. And I'm going to just play that for you without the plugin going. You can listen to just a really simple acoustic guitar track. Okay. So you hear that? We're going to play that again. I'm going to enable this effect here. I don't think I need to do that. But again, I'm new to Reaper. Um, also, you're going to notice this looks different in Reaper. Uh, when I use this in Cubase, my normal DAW, I just see this. So Reaper people, you're probably used to this, but that is not the look when you're in other DAWs. It's just this interface here. So we're just going to start with the standard waveform. We're going to look at our depth at 50%. This level knob, just uh, so you know, is all the way up is at full volume. It does not have a gain increase on the plug-in here. And so all the way down, all the way up. So I'm just leaving that all the way up. Uh, it is a little quieter when I run it through this because we're cutting off the transient here. So you're going to notice that, like if you turn it on and off, you're going to hear a volume drop, uh, especially depending where your depth is at because of what it's doing with your transients there. Um, the rate knob is a lot of fun when that's what we're going to focus on primarily here in this demo. And because we have this tempo and time toggle switch, which we can sync the tempo to the DAW metronome. So if you've entered here, like I have 92 beats per minute, I'm in 4-4. Four four. Uh, it is taking that time and then doing the divisions for the rate based on that click track. So that's pretty cool. You could also flip it to time and do um, uh, whatever, however many milliseconds you want and just find your feel, especially if you don't use a click when recording. So that's a handy feature. Really, really cool. Uh, the option knob on the physical pedal, this is a little different here on the plug-in. So when you're in tap tempo mode, or uh, excuse me, the metronome mode, um, this does not do the divisions like in the manual that it talks about it is only for the fade in or break speed which you'll notice this changes the option knob behavior here um, the fade in is really nice we'll talk about that in a minute and the break speed um, for now we're just going to really ignore that um, and focus on the rate and waveforms and depth controls um, these buttons are functional uh, you could hook them up to um, MIDI foot switches if you'd like, um, or some other keyboard, whatever you'd like to do, but um, you could do MIDI learn on those. Pretty cool option. Um, and again, if you were using this in a live situation, like Ableton Live, you could use those with foot switches as well. So that's a cool way to get a tap whirl, uh, since we're not making it right now, for free, um, if you are using some kind of hybrid computer-based uh, software effects with your plane. Okay, so anyway, let's listen to this thing. So we've got it enabled, and I'm going to play that same guitar thing here. I'm going to increase the depth. And you'll notice quite a bit louder again. So this is uh, waveform zero, the first of 24. Um, listen to some of the waveforms. That one's really cool. Whoa. So depending on how you have this rate set, 
a half note. In the waveform, you can find all sorts of combinations. That one's really cool. the other cool thing about the plugin right now we're using it on an acoustic guitar you could use this on any source you wanted um, keyboards drums this has almost a reverse sound very cool um, all right let's try using the bypass switch and you could automate this if you wanted um, what you're going to notice, it's going to fade in when we kick it on. So it didn't start right away. It slowly faded in. And depending on how you have that option knob set, we're going to try that again. It was much faster that time. So, a handy feature um, that you can use, again, by clicking it and automating it or using some kind of MIDI foot switch or MIDI keyboard. All right, let's set it to the break speed, and we'll try our break. So let's make that faster, or maybe slower, let's find out. So, interesting feature. Depending on what you're doing, that might work really well. Um, the fade-in is really nice, I think, for if you're going to be using this bypass switch. The brake still functions here. We don't have the speed control. Okay. Let's go into a few more waveforms. That one's really nice. at that rate. That's pretty cool. So again, your waveform, your rate, and depth controls are probably going to be your most used knobs. a great way to just add a little bit of flavor to a guitar track or again any instrument or bypass
may have to do a little makeup gain with another plugin or um, you know some gain staging in your uh, mixing of course um, but a lot of versatility let's get back up anywhere around here this is the one That's pretty cool. And if you've never looked at the manual for the Tapa Whirl or if you used the plugin, or excuse me, the hardware version before the actual pedal, you may not have seen what's happening with your signal, but it's pretty cool to have this visual window here of what's going on. Because it's also hard to remember 24 waveform forms. What are they all doing? Um, so. This is a great visual indicator and a way to know where you're at and what's going on, and how it's going to impact your signal, and whether you might want to do a, a slower rate or faster. Let's switch to time real quick. And see, so we just get faster. And slower. These ones are kind of locked in. And it ends on 23 because we started at zero. So 24 waveforms, zero through 23. Okay, so that's a crash course on the Tapa World. Hope you guys really like this here. This is a free plugin available for download at our website. You just have to sign up for the email list and uh, it's yours. Yeah. Use it in the studio or some kind of hybrid live setup, and we'd love to hear what you think of it and how it's working for you. Okay, and if you're having issues getting this installed, we're going to make another couple of videos on getting this working with your DAW. Okay, that's it for the Tab World. Thanks. We'll see you guys.